In this lesson, I will show you how to make a program by our SD4 Sand software. First, you should make sure our this this software has connected to the kiosk. So after login, you go to the media box management. So they will show you the temporary. This is the temporary box name and the default box name. So first, uh, you should choose. The media box. This needs to choose this box, this kiosk, and go to the more menu, and move to another group. Go to the default group. Move to this default group. Choose OK and yes. And then you can see from this default box group, you can see this kiosk uh, terminal right now. So. After you do this, you go to this step, the media management. The media management, management as I said before, you should upload all these materials. You can see you can upload the video, audio, or the pictures, or some PDF, or PowerPoint, or any format you can upload here. So, right now, for example, I need to upload the video. You should choose the upload, going upload about the bottom, the bottom menu here, uploads, and click add. Choose the video you want to upload. For example, I choose this one, the OD. So you open it. And then you press the upload this button. So you know, go to the cat, cat, category, go to the video, this category, and for feed to screen. This is very important. If, you want, if your kiosk is a full standing kiosk, you should choose the upright. If your kiosk is like wall mounted, you should you choose general. So as an our, our demo, you choose the floor standing. So I choose the upright. Choose the upright. So you save it. After you save it, and then this will change the video to the upright. This this uh, mode. If your video is very is very big, and then this will take some time to convert it. So I choose close. Now for example for this video or do this video rest out the status is converting. So after it is finished converting it will change the approved. So we just need it right now. So we also want to upload some other material for example want to upload some uh, pinches. So I also choose the upload at and then I go to some pinches. So for example, I choose this pinches. So open it. I also click the upload again. So you choose the category to images and save it. When you finish, just close this window. So you see here, and this this pinches is already finished converting, so the status is approved. So also, I want to upload some text, some words. Choose this one, and go to upload, and add. I choose this welcome. Open it. T. Be careful, this is TXT format. So click upload again. So the category for the TXT, I save it, and then after finish, you close it. So by this way, I have already finished uploading of all this material I want. So you go should go to the second step, the layout. Choose this layout menu. So first, there these are some demo, some example we have already prepared for you. Well, that's now I want to create a new one. You can free fr freely make the layout by itself. Create a new one. Press this button because my kiosk is floor standing, so I choose upright. So this area will be all the tools you can use. So this area will be the simulation of the kiosk, the panel. So right now, I I choose 
I want to put a logo here. You just uh, like I'm showing right here. Trace it and move to this part, and you can enlarge it. And then you can you can choose the background area. For example, I want move to this one, to this tool, and move it to this background. This is the background area, and also right click, choose, set the background, the images, or the logo images, the background. So, right now, just press this one, and choose this style images, press this one, plus. And then, you have to choose which example the background you want to use. So, this is the preview here. So, for example, right now I want to use this one, the 6. I want to preview, I want to use this example. So, I choose OK. And then yes. So, you can see here, this will be the background. So, for this logo area, so use as, as I do showing right now, choose the right click and set the logo image. Press here. And you can choose put a logo here. So for example, I want to put H4 logo here. So which is OK. OK. So this this area you can put some caption like a moving. I want to show you this area the moving subtitle. So you just put click and move push to this area. So you can freely decide the, the the size of this of this part, and also you should choose the play area. So right now I I choose this play area, this twenty, and I move to this part, and then this also you can free decide the the size of this part. So. There are also two parts here, two pretty area here, so I will do the same like this one. So I will do the same for this part. So by this way, you have three pre area right now. So we should set the main pre area. The main pre area means for pre the video. So if I want to this one. I right click, and we set as the main pre area. Set the main pre area. So I choose OK. So you should put the last step. You should put a name here. For example, I choose the name, the demo, and then. You can choose save right now. To save layout, press this menu, this button, and this is push success. So it should OK. And then you press this back, this button, so back. So you're back to the main pages. So this means you have successfully, like you see here, the demo, this layout you have already finished. So you should go to the third step, the program making. So how to make program? First, you should select the screen layout. So there will be many layout here, but you see here this, this demo you have just prepared. So I choose this this layout. I want to use this one. I choose click this one and choose OK. So this will be the layout just prepared. So let's now you will put you will fill in all this material into this pre area. So for example, I choose this way the video, image, and text or audio. So I go to video first. I choose this video, we just uploaded the audio. So you just choose it and move to this pre area. So these two areas, right now I want to play the pictures. So I go to the images. So like the first area, I want to choose like football. So, choose and move it. Just use the mouse to move it. 
and this part I want to show some audio pinches so also movie so by this area this capture this for the moving subtitle you can use text to choose this one also move and you need see okay so by this way you have finished all the material you want to fill in this screen layout and then you should save choose this one save and release so when you see this one you should choose this the box the group first clear this the, this group and then you will name the program you see this is the the number one program name and this is the play mode that I suggest you is technique so this means you can play automatically all the time so this will be the, the date where when it started so this is the, the May 10th so and the date is also May 10th so if you want this play for a long time you can choose which date you want so for example I want this can play 3 days so we end it on 12 so I choose every day here. So after do this, you will save and approve it. Show this one, save and approve. And then click OK. So this means we have sent, released this program to the mirror kiosk. And then you should last step, the fourth step, you, you should check the, where the program has been successful or not. So you go to this menu, the program management. So you can see here, choose change the status. So choose this one, that this already download success, successfully is 100 percentage. So that's it, the kiosk already received this program and it will play automatically. If it, the, the program is very big, it will take some time, take some time to up to download to the kiosk so just when this say this 100 percent finish this means you have successfully released the program to the mirror kiosk so that's it it's very simple to make a program if you have any more question please contact the factory engineer thanks